Imagine if you had been there. July 1969, Elvis Presley has not performed in live concert in nine years. Thousands are traveling to Las Vegas to see if he can pull it off. And as he walks on stage, she and her backup group, the Sweet Inspirations, were right behind him. So you remember the first, the first show, the, the first very, night? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord, all the cameras and the flashes and the screaming and the hollering. And, oh, Lord, I didn't know what was going on. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> But they were very excited. So was she. After all, Estelle Brown was going to be on stage with Elvis Presley every time he performed in Las Vegas, and she'd better be ready. We had to keep an eye on him because you never knew what he was going to do. Uh, Estelle, y'all have to watch me, you know, so. He wasn't hard to look at. The most popular entertainer in the world walked into that first rehearsal in Vegas like he wasn't. El Elvis walked in just like, hello, hi ladies, I'm Elvis Presley, like we didn't know. It was wonderful. He made everything so easy, you know. He was not a hard taskmaster. He, he, he didn't put himself above. You know, we were all on the same level. Still, the inspirations were a few years younger than Elvis, and Estelle had a hard time not calling him boss. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. I was going to ask him something. But he said, no, 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 no. I'm not your boss. I'm your brother. And that's how it was from then on out. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. They were together every night for six weeks, two shows a night. And when the screaming stopped, the gospel began. I would say, come on, gang, we're going upstairs. So we would have to go up to the suite with him on the top floor of the Hilton. And we would sit there all, just about all night long, singing gospel. <laughs> <laughs> laughing and talking, laughing and talking and singing. Laughing, talking, singing, and eating. <laughs> Elvis Presley died today. He was 42. Estelle was on her way to their next performance when the announcement was made. Elvis Presley was dead. He was screaming and hollering and, you know, just, un just unreal. It was just unreal. You never thought about Elvis, Elvis dying? No. No, he's supposed to live forever. Estelle moved to Shreveport to be close to family a few years ago. But even now, 43 years after his death, the memories stir the heart. And if I'm not careful, I will, I'll break down and start crying anytime, when, if I think about it hard enough. Yeah. Yeah. I love that man. And he loved us. And we knew that.